Welcome, dear friends, to Kardec Radio at 11 p.m., nourishing our souls with one more Immortal Messages, a program that comes to illuminate ourselves. It's from the book in Instruções Psicofônicas, Psychophonic Instructions, from several illuminated minds through the medium Chico Xavier, and then transcribed and published in this book by the Brazilian Spiritist Federation. The English version is under revision. As soon as our team is completed with the task, we'll deliver it to the Brazilian Spiritist Federation and await their revision and publication. So today we're delighted because the Spirit Mei Mei, who is the mentor of the group that Chico Xavier was in when receiving these messages, he comes, she comes through Chico to deliver a message about goodwill. How important is goodwill for you? How important is goodwill? Do you remember one of the, the statements by Jesus, one of the teachings? He said, glory to God, peace on earth and goodwill towards humankind. Why goodwill? Why is it so important? May May, as an educator, will lead us into this. May May is this phenomenal mind that is working with the highest sphere of the earth, especially in the moral education of the souls. She cares about the spiritual education, about the spiritual education on earth more than we can imagine. Chico Xavier wrote several books he psychographed under her authorship. Books for children, but also for adults. Today, she comes through Chico Xavier to talk about goodwill. And as an educator, she is willing to calibrate in us something that is vital for the success of our lives. Welcome to Kardec Radio. I know you're coming in and welcome to this moment. Remember, May May is the spirit director of the group. And she comes on the night of January 20th, 1955. May May brought us the comfort of her word, expressing herself with the affection that signals the manifestations. She spoke about the merits of goodwill. She begins, the sun is the force that nourishes life on earth. Goodwill is the light that fits harmony among creatures. Let us light goodwill in our heart to walk with security and courage. In the home, it is attractive and sweet flame. Goodwill at home is attractive and a sweet flame. In society, goodwill is a source of harmony and joy. Where money fails and where human power is insignificant, goodwill performs miracles. Overall, let us not despise goodwill. Everywhere, there are wounds to ask for balm, complications that call for silence, misfortunes that await succor, and obstacles that implore friendly help. Many are awaiting public recognition for notability and intelligence in the cultivation of charity, defeated by time between dissatisfaction and disenchantment. Let us be diligent soldiers in the army of the good, anonymous and humble, going through the days in faithful worship to brotherhood. Hatred and ignorance fight and rapture, conquering the wages of misery and death in the world. Love and service strive without fanfare building progress and spoiling life. 
with goodwill, we learn to find the brotherhood Christ. We learn to find the partner in difficulty. We learn to find the unfortunate sick. We learn to find the sick child. We learn to find the wounded animal. We learn to find the unprotected tree. And we learn to find the dry land, providing them with unselfish cooperation. And it is for her that we can exercise the gift of serving through the little obligations of each day, extending fraternal hands, silencing before misplaced accusation, containing the aggressiveness and silencing the reckless word. Let us place goodwill at the beginning of all of our activities so that our initiatives and longings, conversations and understandings do not stray from the light. Let us remember that peace and goodwill should shine in our greater and lesser triumphs with Divine Master. That is why the gospel in the cradle of Jesus begins with the unforgettable exaltation of the heavenly malicious. Glory to God, peace on earth, and goodwill towards humankind. You have heard of this before, not the way she says here, but of goodwill. In the book, Our Daily Bread, chapter 66, Emmanuel through Chico Xavier talks about goodwill. And he says that goodwill will lead us to work. Work brings renewal, renewal. And then he goes and goes and goes and goes until we ascend. Goodwill is the key. In the book, Thought and Life by Emmanuel through Chico Xavier, chapter two, he talks about goodwill. We need to use our goodwill to create good life. Now let's talk about the reverse, ill will. Chapter 67 of the book, our Daily Bread by Emmanuel, through Chico Xavier. 66 talks about goodwill. It's one page, one page long. 67, ill will. He says, first line, ill will brings darkness. And then the consequences, terrible. It's like when we are home and we don't have goodwill to partake in the feast of the family, to help in the cleaning, to helping the cooking, to helping the doing laundry, in helping a child, in helping the spouse, or just listening or being quiet. Or in our work, it's when a colleague wants our help, but we think that our work is more important than theirs. We say, no, I can't because I have to finish this before X time. This is called selfishness and pride, thinking that our things are more important than other people's things. It's when we use our money for the benefit of ourselves and our family members and the loved ones, but we don't care about people who don't have anything. Or there are people who are sick in the hospitals and we think it's none of our business. When we have goodwill, we embrace the pains and the sorrows of everyone as ours. And there are so many ways of reaching out. It's when somebody calls you and invites you to do the good. And it's indisputable. But then you give excuses. I don't have time. I am afraid. I don't believe in myself. And then you don't do the good. I don't think I'm capable because of lack of goodwill. Goodwill connects us with constructive mental currents. Ill will will connect us with destructive 
mental currents. Period. Very dangerous. One thing is resting, napping, to recompose ourselves. Another is to do nothing because nobody invites us. So we need to use our intelligence, our creativity to see what else. There's always a new book and nowadays with a phone. You don't need more than your phone to enter courses, to read a book, to listen to a book, audiobook, to watch a lecture, to learn anything new from painting to cooking. I remember I learned to cook many things and bake like the famous Brazilian cheese bread here in the United States through YouTube. I remember many years ago and I tried several recipes until I understood one that I found most interesting for me. And I love it. And I say, you see, uh, oh, but nobody taught me. Some people say, but, but you can do it yourself. Somebody's going to teach us in Google or YouTube somewhere and Kardec Radio and SoundCloud, Spotify, if you click on Kardec Radio and many people will lead us into new understanding. And there are beautiful ways for us to illuminate ourselves. She says, the sun, she begins a talking about goodwill and talking about the sun is the force that nourishes life on earth. Goodwill is the light that feeds harmony amongst people. So if the sun gives us life, goodwill creates peace. It's when you go visit somebody and you are there not to be served, but to serve. You don't let people serve you. You do, but you kind of partake and you kindly help, give a helping hand, and you don't, you are no longer a burden. And I say this because people sometimes don't teach us that. But it's important. The, the, the rules of politeness, etiquette, should be practiced. Not because we want to be pleasant externally, but because it's the Christ consciousness. Jesus would go and you think he would be served? He would serve. He was the one that was sharing the bread with everyone. And he would eat last after he has served. He had served everyone. So this is the true leadership, the one that serves, the one that is polite, the one that is refined. So beautiful. So she says that goodwill at home is going to be a sweet flame. In society, it will bring harmony and joy. And where there is no money, goodwill will perform miracles. It's like Jesus sharing the fish and the bread and making miracles. Chico Xavier once was helping the needy, didn't have the resources. And then suddenly after a prayer, a truck stops by and he receives a donation to help the people who are in need. Miracles. Miracles. And we can't despise goodwill. She says, let us be diligent soldiers in the good army, anonymous and humble. Okay, now we need to talk about this fact. Because many times, and, and I've seen this, probably you have seen it too. I see many people who do not have that goodwill because they're not paid. I remember a spiritist friend saying, yeah, when people volunteer, they do something, but they don't do well. You need to pay people. Then they're going to fulfill it. That's sad. That's so sad. Some people ask, Vanessa, why do you do these programs at 11 p.m.? 
and it's been what four years because it's the recommendation by the spirits i'm not being paid nobody at cardiac creator is paid no volunteer but the good spirits invite us but they are not there come on do it or else no they invite us remember many are invited few are chosen meaning you have to choose choose to do the good it's the army of the good diligent if we are only diligent when we have recognition fame money we're gonna fail because that's vanity and then we are going to abuse power we're gonna fail but when we do because it's the right thing to do whether people approve disapprove where they like or dislike or I'm, I'm talking about good things of course you are training your muscles so when everything else happens you will stay steady conscious lucid shielded from the temptations of the abuse of power so she says anonymous and humble chico xavier you you look at chico xavier and i and we admire him right but many people didn't he they looked at him too simple too humble uh, not a true intellectual person so sad it's so sad the way people saw him you know that he, they saw him some people saw him lacking money social status etc but today who are those people i don't know they're not famous they we're not studying their book here but we're studying chico xavier's book but he kept himself anonymous and humble and i say this because as many people have written about him, biographers, they say he could have achieved international success if he took a different route, but it wouldn't be the success of the Christ consciousness. The more we evolve on earth, the more Chico Xavier is going to be vital as a model for all of us proving that it's possible to follow Jesus' steps. And Jesus is so loving, so humble. He didn't fight for fame. Judas wanted them to have status and fame and influence and that's why he failed we are not aiming at this but we need to do things diligently that's why we bring this every time at cardiac radio we're, we're pushed by the good spirits to improve they say put a background picture that shows the spirits don't forget the logo. And, and they are training us to learn technology in ways that we have never learned before. But they say this is going to boost the learning experience, the feeling of the scriptures. So we do this educationally. We don't do this aiming at fame. Mei Mei is saying we need to be of goodwill to find those who suffer. And that's what we do at Cardiac Radio. You and I, the whole team, people need explanations about X theme. Let's work on this. They need, because 
that hunger and thirst for knowledge needs to be relieved. How many of us we go to sleep with a question that is there, boom, boom, boom in our mind. And then we watch a program, boom, relieved. I remember reading this question in one of Emmanuel's books. He was asked, what's the most important mental attitude to succeed in the world? And his answer, surprising. Forget all evil. Do the good always. Forgive offense. And you think to succeed in the world is about going to Harvard? To succeed in the world is about having money, beauty, influence. Emmanuel says it's about forget, forgetting all evil, including our own, and focusing on the good. Our good, your good, everyone's good. When I read that statement, I went to sleep with new joy in my heart. It's like the solution to so many problems. And May May comes to us to reinforce that saying, do the good, be of goodwill. Focus on your good. You are a child of God. Love and service strive without fear, fear. Building progress and extolling life. Let us place goodwill at the beginning of all of our activities so that our initiatives and longing conversations and understanding do not astray from light. Nowadays, many people may have more time because of the pandemic. Talking to people on the phone, be of goodwill. Is this conversation going to help? No. Let's learn to silence. She says it here. We need to learn to silence before a misplaced accusation. Extending fraternal hands, talking less about ourselves. So one exercise we're going to do is to be of goodwill. Forget about I, my, mine. Forget. Next time you talk to somebody and they say, how are you doing? Great. And you quickly. Ask them, how are you doing? Forget about you. Even if the world is falling apart, forget. And then if you are talking to a family member, listen to them. Because usually we want to talk and talk and talk. But before... This is the exercise. In the next 24 hours, let us place goodwill in the beginning of all activities. In the, oh, Virginia is here for the exercise, right? May May is bringing Virginia, right, Virginia? It's about goodwill. Goodwill is about be willing to do the good. What did you do this morning? You want to tell them? Was it of goodwill? That what we did, did a walking nature? Oh, yeah, we did. And then, what yeah. did we do? Walking nature. Um, pick up trash. Picking up trash. And looking at birds. Yeah, with the binocular. Yeah, right? With binoculars. And that was a good will. We, we are walking in nature, picking up the trash. That's something new we've been doing for the last 10 days more or less, and, and we, what do we need to pick up trash while we walk to do exercise? Uh, mm. mm -hmm. um, sometimes we even found like um, gloves on the floor, sometimes yeah. pla we, found, we, found, we found lots of plastic bottles today, we, yeah. we found four Plastic bottles. People we threw on the floor. Yeah, we saw we saw four, but we yeah. we got 
many plastic bottles yeah. in the last few days. Yeah, right. So it's like you were walking in nature into your, you never know. People throw things on the floor. You're walking, enjoying nature, and at the same time, helping nature, right? So let us do the exercise together, Virginia. Every day we're going to wake up and say this phrase. I am a child of God. Mm, I am the child. I am a child of God. I am a child of God. I reincarnated to learn to do good. Right? Aye. Then we're going to say, I am of goodwill. I am of goodwill. Let's do it three times. I am of goodwill. I am of goodwill. I am of goodwill. I am of goodwill. And I, I am, am of, of goodwill. goodwill. Thank you. Thank you, Virginia. So this is the exercise for us in the next 24 hours before any activity, as maybe says any conversation and eating and exercising and working and help anybody, let's say, I am of goodwill, I am of goodwill, I am of goodwill. And then you tell your body, remember body, we are of goodwill and let's get it started. And then we get all the activities started. This is our recipe for the next 24 hours. Now we are going to raise our thoughts to God in vibrations of gratitude, saying, thank you, God, for teaching us. The key to peace, the key to harmony, the key to joy, goodwill. Thank you for sending me, me, through Chico Xavier, illuminating our minds and our hearts. And bringing to us new hope. Inviting us to work to the benefit of others. Focusing on the ones who are in greater need than ourselves. Please bless our community here connected. Whether live or on demand. Please enter their homes. And bring a new boost of joy so we can operate in greater will towards everyone's harmony and peace. Glory to you, God. Peace in our hearts and on earth and goodwill. amongst all of us, and so be it. We thank Mei Mei, Chico Xavier, and all of you for our togetherness, this kind of light that we are forming and bringing greater nourishment to the earth. Wherever you are, receive our hug, our gratitude, and we will be back here tomorrow, God willing, for more immortal messages. Because at Cardiac Radio, we're always here nourishing ourselves. Thank you, friends.